If you're looking for a more precise way to draw or cut circles, you're going to need to use one of the compasses that we have in our classroom. Before we learn to use the compass, let's review some math facts. The diameter of a circle is a measurement that you get when you bisect it in half right through the middle, from edge to edge. A circumference is the measurement that would wrap all the way around. The radius is the measurement from the center to the edge and is half the diameter. Compasses use radius in order to measure what, how big of a circle that they make. So using a one inch mark on a compass is actually going to give you a circle that's two inches in diameter. With this kind of compass, it's kind of hard to see the markings. But for example, this spot says one inch radius, one and a half inch radius, two and a half inch radius, and so on. This one is a little bit easier to use. The measurements are more precise. You got your sixteenth inch holes over here and your quarter and half inch holes over here. If I wanted a circle whose diameter was four and a half, I would have to calculate the radius. So I know that half of four and a half or diameter by two. Half of diameter would be 2.25. So I would have to find on here, this is my center point, 2.25. And that's how I would draw my circle. If you plan to cut your shape out and glue it down, work on the back of the paper so your marks don't show. I'm going to put a dot here, just in case I accidentally move it. Hold it in the center. Go to my 2.25. This compass works very similarly. I'm going to find my 2.25 hole right here. Put it down. Put the dot in the center in case I move it and draw my circle. Oh, see? That part didn't draw in. Good thing I drew my dot here, because now I can line that dot right back up. And go back to my 2.25 and fill the rest of that in. And that's how you use the compasses that we have in our classroom.